This one has an, uh, uh, an appeal to me in that you have the uh, uh, different forms of crystallization on the same specimen. Now, Buchanan Hook, this deposit, is known for a central crist quartz crystal surrounded by smaller ones. Now, the phenomena on the bottom crystal isn't that, that visible, but on this, on this section here, you'd have a whole cluster of little crystals with no real prominent head among them. Uh, uh, can be displayed or uh, flat on the turntable. Contact on the side of this crystal, yet from the other side, and there's an almost orangey color inside that, which I find also quite appealing. So if we have it on the turntable, going around like this. And also another feature, when we're looking from, from this side, maybe looking uh, into that main crystal over there, you'll see there's a little bit of concentration around the points, which is in this case a very light amethyst, which gets distributed right through into the smaller ones as well. The underlying reddishness to, to brownishness to yellowishness is caused by a hematite come Goethe trapped inside the quartzes. So technically speaking, we, we, we could be talking in terms of ametrine, but let's stick to spirit quartz for now. All the way from South Africa, one of our many specialities here in South Africa, the spirit quartz, bright, lustrous. Uh, let me just give it one more turn. And I quite like the, the coloration in this crystal on the edge here. There's a little bit of a, almost an orangey color running into that. Not very large, but quite, quite a nice little piece.